I thought, what if I, instead of writing songs inspired by my own story, what if I gave people an opportunity to share their story with me? So that's be, you know, become really my life's mission. Um, not just to make music, but to write songs inspired by the true stories of people's lives. And ultimately, all of those stories and songs point to the greatest story ever told, which is how God steps into our stories and changes our lives. The day after we played a concert in Louisville, Kentucky, I um, did what I normally do. Like, after I have my quiet time, um, I open my computer and I've got a story database <laughs> and I read the stories that people are because they come in every day and I kind of put it in two ca categories like some people are writing their story to me because they need help right so they're saying we pray for me I'm battling depression or I need help in this area of my life and then other people have seen a breakthrough in their life and they're telling their story because they want um, they want me to spread that on and tell them you know, tell their story of redemption, like something that they overcame. Well, this story came in the form of a cry for help, really, and um, that's when I first heard the story of Rob. It turns out Rob was at the concert the night before. Um, he wasn't like a fan of my music or anything. He was uh, there at the request of his mother, who promised to give him some money. And, uh, and so I thought that was kind of a funny detail, like, He's not a fan of my music or anything, but he was at my show. Only reason I went was to get money from my mom. She told me she was gonna give me some money. I heard the song, Hello My Name Is. Hello My Name Is Regret. And um, it just changed my life all, all together. The letter I got was asking for help. Rob was ready to go to recovery and begin a new chapter of his story. And so that's how I heard his story and I felt like God had put it on my heart to reach back out to Rob. Because if you're willing to take that bold step, then you know I felt like that was God tugging at my heart and my dad who helps me in my ministry, we were like, we gotta get, we gotta get this guy some help. Well, the prodigal son, grace wins. As far as like writing the song, Grace Wins, if you listen to the first verse, I was writing what I pictured Rob was thinking while he was sitting at my concert. I was writing from the perspective of a guy who, he knows the mistakes he's made. He's been in and out of jail. I mean, his circumstances remind him every day that he's gotten himself into this mess. And I just pictured somebody just so beat down by guilt and shame and you have this image of God and I see it sometimes and that's why it says in my weakest moments I see you God shaking your head in disgrace like I can see the disappointment it's written all over your face right and then those voices come in right the voices that tell us man you think God still loves you you think you think he could still use you look how messed up you are and I wanted to write that I was just picturing you know what he might be thinking um, but to turn in to turn that song into a victory song, which is ultimately what God was doing while I was writing that song, God was writing a redemption story in Rob's life. So I finally completed the program in October of 2015, and God has just brought me full circle where I never ever thought I'd be able to do anything. What I've learned is that your life gets more fulfilling when you become a character in somebody else's story, you know, and I think that's, that's one of the cool things about getting to know Rob. It's just like, man, what if we would have never called him? You know? What if he would have never reached out? Like, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool how God orchestrates things. And so um, I'm learning a lot about God's faithfulness, about how he's aware of every detail of life, and just about how much more life he has for us if we'll just be obedient. Take a look at your own life and go, okay. Am I really letting grace win in my life? Because Rob's got victory. Do I have that victory? If not, why not? How can I get it? Those are the kind of questions I hope my songs and stories prompt in people's hearts and lives. Singing,